Now, I still got to do translations and partitions, so let's do it. You can go ahead and pause the video or write while I'm writing. Translation. Now, in translation, you're definitely going to check out especially the words on your Focus Note 1.2, but the skill itself is pretty easy. I'm going to do point F and point G. Imagine they gave us point F and point G and they said move it, which is what translation means. So imagine they said move it left and up. They said left six and up four. So I got to make sure left and right are based on the x value. So left six, I'm just going to put minus six underneath my x values. Then it says up four. So up and down, control the y values. So up would be plus four on my y values. Now I'm going to rewrite my coordinate. So my new coordinate, f prime and g prime, would be mathematically negative eight minus six, three plus four, negative two, and seven. I wanna just double check my math, make sure everything is looking good, and circle my final answer. Now another way they might ask a translation question is to show it in translation form. So it looks more like a formula. So imagine instead of giving you words, they give you symbols and they gave you a coordinate. So imagine they said, take the coordinate H, negative six, negative six, and I, one, five. Pause the video if you wanna rewrite that. If they told me this, they actually are going more directly. They're telling me with the X values and only the X values, subtract three. So under only the X values, I'm gonna subtract three. And the Y values, I'm gonna add four. So I'm gonna add four here, plus four, plus four. Looking good. Now I just have my math. H prime is my new coordinate. I prime, my new I coordinate. Negative six minus three, negative nine. Negative six plus four, negative two. One minus three and five plus four. Double checking my math. Looking good. I'm gonna box out my final answer. Last but not least, I need to partition my line. So going back over to my graph paper, I need to look at, um, and write out the question. This might be the video you might want to watch for more examples. So let's say it says, please partition a line point B is four, negative four, and point C is negative one, six. And so partition a line BC from B to C at a ratio three to two. So the very first step I'm gonna do is I'm going to graph it. So this one's gonna be negative one, six and four, negative four. Okay, so I'm just gonna make a X and Y axis here and then get my pen. Okay, so let's make B four, negative four, and that's the letter B and negative one, six, negative one, six. This might be graphed for you or you may have to graph it. Then get a straight edge um, and line that up. And again, I need to partition the line three to two. So what that means is step one, add them together. So that means I have to cut my line in five equal pieces. Well, five's kind of tough to cut in. One, two, three, four, five, something like that. I made that really light because I'm just not sure where that would land. But if it landed three to two, one, two, three, it should land somewhere here. And I think I actually do the same example on the skill video. 
So if it lands three to two, I think it's somewhere here, but I better be sure. So to be sure, you can actually line up the vertical line and line up the horizontal line and do the math. So go ahead and cut the count those. One, two, three, four, five. There's five boxes. So to cut five boxes and five equal pieces, five divided by five is one. So that's how many hops of my boxes I wanna make to cut it into five equal pieces. One, two, three, four, five. Now, once again, I wanna to go, to, go on a journey from B to C, three hops, and then leave two left. Three hops, and then leave two left. So I'm gonna put my arrow right there. Now I can do it vertically as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So I've got 10 boxes vertically. Wanna cut that still into five equal pieces. So I need two hops per, that's how many boxes I'm going to hop to cut it into five equal pieces. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 10. There it is. So again, I wanna go on a journey from B to C at a ratio of three to two. One, two, three, leaving two left over. Well, I think maybe I messed this up before because again, I'm going from B to C. So this might be a little different than my last video. So if I go from B to C, B to C, I definitely wanna start here at the bottom, go three, there's my arrow. So I think my guess was off. This was good that I double checked my answer. So now as I see here where my boxes and my arrows line up are this coordinate. So let's double check my journey. If I go on a journey B to C, I wanna partition the line three to two. One, two, three. One, two. There's where my coordinate needs to be. That coordinate is at one, two. So that's my partition. It's very important, and if you watch this video,